Hello, hello folks, this is me, the Trashman here. Today we have some, I have, I'm going to be looking over some patch notes. I know I'm becoming a bit of a Path of Exile little tuber right now. I just want to go over this. Um, so there, this recent patch note has actually been insane and it fixed something that I actually made a video about that I never uploaded. I made a video of me ranting about something of Path of Exile, specifically on drop rates wise, and what I thought could be done to fix it. And they actually did it. So uh, we're going to read to these patch notes real quick. These are great patch notes, by the way. So, the campaign bosses killed after the first kill will now drop less currency items, replacing them with other items. I think, honestly, this is this is a, both a good and, obviously, you know, this is both a positive and negative thing. Obviously, you're not going to be able to, you know, cheese, like, you know, bosses, like, easy bosses just to get a lot of currency items now. Now they're good, but now it's going to be, instead of getting just getting rid of those drop rates in general, they're going to be replacing that with other items. So, maybe the loot table will be more opened. Okay, it says, uh, so we move on to the next one. Increased drop rates of regal orbs, thank goodness. Um, 30 hours in, and I've only seen, like, well, granted, I've made a few with, I've made a few of them, but they, they very rarely drop, so I'm glad about that. And, they're, and they're, it's like, they're a rare drop, rare drop for me than exalted orbs, from my experience, and they're much, 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 much worse. They're like, they're like, was it, turn it to like one extra modifier. It's so trash, in my opinion. Significantly increase the drop rates of gem cutters prisons. I have no idea what the hell these are, but cool. Um, okay. Single gem cutters prison also improves the quality of skill. Oh, this improves the. Oh, that's the thing that improves your skill gem quality. I forgot. I didn't know that was the name of it. Well, that's cool. That's that's actually going to be really good because now I can increase my uh my my quality for my things to become even stronger with my shield charge. <laughs> I'm about to be cheeser, boys. Um, lower the drop rates of artificers orbs and distribute it to lesser jewels orbs. I have not even seen, I kid you not, I have not seen a single artificial or artificers orb. Uh, was that a common thing? Because I really did not get, I have not gotten a single one in my 30 hours of playing. So, I mean, cool, I guess. I mean, at least I'll see more jeweler orbs. I like those. Uh, disenchanting rare items with six modifiers now provides two, oh, Oh my goodness, thank goodness. Now whenever I sell my good gear, I'm not going to be getting one teetle wink of a regal shard for a year. Oh, that's a really good, that is a really good change. I like it a lot. Uh, it will be displayed one patch later. Okay, good. Increase the values of all prefix modifiers that can roll on waystones. What are waystones? Uh, we've also adjusted the chance of getting, of, of getting the more commonly powerful modifiers such as increases to rarity and Activize well, well, well. I don't know what that is, but it sounds cool. So maybe I'll learn later. Um, okay, here it is. Here's the big one. Monster modifiers now grant higher amounts of item rarity and item quantity. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Monsters, rare monsters, were so useless. I would kill like this guy that would take that had health regen and magma, magma shield, and this dude, this dude would drop nothing. Most you would drop as like a, a transmutation orb or like a augmentation orb. Like, dude, it was so useless. This is a great change, by the way. Uh, this is most common on magic and rare enemies, but also affects unique enemies if applied through various endgame mechanics like the deadly evolution keystone. That sounds cool. But yeah, this this was a change that I literally was ranting about in my in my little rant video that I never uploaded. I I recorded that yesterday. I was ranting about specifically the item drops from rare enemies and that was literally one of my things that I said needs to be fixed is that rare monsters need an identity. This is what I said. Rare rare monsters need a use. So I'm really glad they did this. Uh they also increased the uh, chance of rare monsters in maps to have 3 to 4 modifiers. That's even better because now they're from what I know they're going to be scaling it uh, with how many modifiers they have. So that's a really good change. So now we're going to be getting more items, which is incredible. I love it. Um, rare monsters and map areas are now revealed on the minimap when there are 200 monsters remaining previously 50. Honestly, I've never used this feature because I never even knew it was a thing. Because so, I always killed the, I've always killed the rares first. <laughs> so that's a cool change, I guess. Um, fixed a bug where there's some persistent buff skills such as Raging Spirit and Mana Remnants. We're not working for the Infernalist when in demon form. Oh, yeah, I heard about demon form. I don't know exactly what it is, but I I heard that it was basically non-functional on the game release, so I'm glad that's changed. Um, fixed a bug where you could sometimes be unable to interact with the map device in the Ziggurat uh, refuge. 
Shoot. Really good, really good. Bug fixes, baby. Um, fixed a bug where monster shattered monsters shattered in a blood circle ultimatum encounter were not contributing blood. I have no clue what the fuck that means. <laughs> fixed a bug that could cause the instance of of a permanent stop time freeze when trying to revive a chrom a chronomancer. I didn't even know chronomancers were in the game. That's awesome. Um, fixed a bug where rare monsters could not be found within the Chimera wetlands. I haven't reached, I don't think I've reached there yet. Maybe I have. Um, that's, that's a good bug fix. Uh, bug where move only was name locking. What the fuck? I don't even know what that is. I don't know what any of these mean. Um, fix three instance crashes. Awesome. Awesome. Fix a client crash. That's just been deployed without restarting servers. Okay. Anyway, that's, that's the uh, things. Yeah, I know. I'm really, I'm really excited about this because now I'm gonna be able to actually get one. Now, now my rare enemies that I kill are gonna be, uh, are gonna be actually dropping good, good gear now. Which I have one more issue that I think needs fixed. Um, so that that's probably been ignored at this point. But I don't know if this is a glitch or not, or if it's like a bad hitbox. But but in the colossal fight, what's his face? Um, let me let me try looking up his name. Path of Exile to. Colossus. Let me see. Yeah, Zalamarth. Z Zalamarath. He's a really cool boss, except he has a glitch, right? I don't know. Well, not a glitch. Maybe a mis misshapen hitbox. But he has this strike where he'll, he'll like uh, stab the ground and then he'll like do a swipe. And this has like a, a weird thing that happens sometimes where even if it doesn't hit you, like you're on the other side of the screen, sometimes it will hit you and insta kill you. And this happened to me many times when I was fighting that boss, which caused me to have to take like five to six tries to beat him. Um, and I always, it was always that move that killed me. And it wasn't because, like, it's literally not even because he hits me. It's because the game, for some reason, counts like him having, like me being here and him being like on the other side with his knife somehow hitting me. And I really, it really started frustrating me that I almost, that I had to go back to base and start buffing just so I can get the fight done faster. I just think that might need a bit of tweaking because that's like look i'm not one for nerfing any bosses like i don't think bosses need nerfed and this is definitely not a nerf what this is is just making it to where fixing a bug where the hitbox is a lot bigger than it should be or sometimes gets a lot bigger and does a lot more damage than it should because that move when it stabs you already only does like half your half your health half of my health but then just not getting hit by it just does you know all my health i just think that's something that needs fixed um, if it does, I'm going to be very happy. But honestly, I think keeping the keeping up feedback for this game is the best thing we can do. I've, I've, I've noticed one thing, and before I make this too long, I just want to say, I think there's a big problem specifically in the community itself, specifically in the YouTuber space. Like, I think there's an issue where a lot of YouTubers I see now that pop up my feed, a lot of them are just trying to call any... They're, they're not letting anyone give feedback without calling them you know like was it without like you know reviewing and then calling them stupid for wanting a change like the item drop change that i reckon that i i thought of uh myself um so when i got in the change here with the uh, rare enemies was it someone someone mentioned that and then like was it a bunch of youtubers a bunch of people mentioned that actually it wasn't just me who was thinking it um, and the, was it like these YouTubers, a lot of them I see will start like making fun of it saying, no, you guys don't need to change anything. You're going to make the game too easy if, if you get better drops and stuff like that. Or if you get more drops, just don't listen to these idiots. I'm like, or, or they'll try to like over exaggerate saying, oh, what do you want? Borderlands three. You just want things to, to spawn out of nowhere. Brain dead style. It's like, that's not what people are saying. And I'm really tired of seeing this in the YouTube space. It, whenever a game releases in early access, guess what early access is meant for? It is meant for feedback. So if you're just going to be going and dick, dick writing the game saying that it has no issues and then calling everyone else's, uh, you know, issues that they have with the game irrelevant or useless because, oh yeah, I don't see that. Then you really need a, a pick me up. Like just, just you really need to change your view on it because this game is an early access and it needs proper feedback. If you are just going to be going around trying to shill for the game devs, you know, and just trying to just say that the game's perfect and doesn't need any changes, then you're not you're not working in the game's best interest. 
Giving the game proper feedback of what you think needs improved is the best way for this game to become its best self. And that is firmly what I believe. No, so when people say that they want better loot drop, when people say that they want, you know, like some skills, like you know, like the, you know, maybe the warrior's like perfect strike to be buff, which is what I want, because that move's useless, by the way. Um, I I think that's just proper feedback. That's just wanting the game to be good. It's not over exaggerating and wanting the game to be dead brain dead, like these, like a lot of these YouTubers are trying to say, or not a lot of them. There's a lot of very good YouTubers who are giving good feedback, but there's just a very big these very big channels like 50k to 100k that are just kind of pushing it it's been annoying me so that's all i want to say i'm really glad about this patch i'm really excited to play today so i'll uh, see you guys later goodbye bye